pipe sizing. The basics. In order to pipe size, you need to know four basic elements of the installation. You need to know the kilowatts of the appliance, the length of the pipes that are needed, how many times the gas turns or splits, and how many appliances there are in the installation. For those of you not familiar with plumbing, pipes come to us in a set of sizes that range between 10 millimeters and 35 millimeters. We've got to be able to pick the correct size pipe to deliver enough gas to the appliance to ensure that it runs correctly. Now we measure gas in cubic meters or meters cubed. Some people have a problem imagining exactly what that quantity is. And it's no more than a cube of gas, one meter tall, one meter deep, and one meter broad, very similar to the one in front of the man on the slide. So like petrol's measured in liters, beer is measured in pints, We've got to be able to measure gas, and we measure the quantity of gas in meters cubed. Pipe sizing is all about delivering the correct amount of meters cubed per hour of gas to the appliance. Now physics will tell you, and common sense would tell you, that the larger the pipe, the more cubic meters of gas it will be able to pass in an hour. So a 28 millimeter pipe, a 22 millimeter pipe, and a 15 millimeter pipe will all pass different amounts of gas in an hour. The 28 millimeter will obviously pass more gas than the 15 millimeter. Now we don't have to work out how much gas is passed by a particular size of pipe because the scientists have already done that for us and they've created discharge tables which show you exactly how much gas can be passed through different sized pipes of different lengths. Remember, when we're pipe sizing, we don't use kilowatts in the calculation itself. We have to convert the kilowatts into meters cubed per hour in order to do the calculation. It's very easy to do. You simply multiply the kilowatts by, naught, by 0 0.094. That will give you your meters cubed per hour that is required by the appliance. So here we have a 25 kilowatt boiler and an 11 kilowatt water heater. The boiler requires 2.35 meters cubed per hour. That's 25 times 0.094. And the small water heater needs one meter cubed per hour. That's 11 kilowatts times 0.094. Now pressure reduces as it goes through a pipe. It might start at the beginning of a pipe at 21 millibar as it travels through it loses pressure perhaps down to 20 and then by the time it comes out the end of the pipe it might only be 19 millibar this pressure loss is what we are having to take account of when we do our pipe sizing to pipe up an appliance again this has already been worked out 
in the discharge tables. So for example, if we have a 15 millimeter pipe, if you have three meters of it, that can pass 2.9 meters cubed per hour of gas. But if you have six meters of it, it can only pass 1.9 meters cubed per hour. If you make it longer to nine meters, it goes down to 1.5, then 12 meters, 1.3, and 15 meters 1.1 so the longer the pipe is the less gas can be passed through it in all gas systems we have fittings and they usually take the form of T pieces which split the gas or elbows which turn the gas by 90 degrees both of these turn the gas very sharply and when they turn it they take away energy from it and they reduce the pressure now they reduce the pressure by an equivalent of half a meter of straight pipe now we can compensate for that when we're measuring a system here for example is a very straightforward set of pipes we've got three streets at one meter long but we've got two angles where the gas has been made to change direction the changes of direction are equivalent to 0.5 of a meter so to calculate the entire length or the the droppage the equivalent length we call it of the pipework we do one meter plus one meter plus one meter plus half a meter each for the changes of direction. So between the entry point and the exit point, the pressure drop is the equivalent of having a four meter straight pipe. Now the law states that you must not have a drop of more than one millibar between the meter and the appliance. So if the pressure at the meter is 21 millibars, the minimum pressure you're allowed at the appliance is 20 millibars. Correct pipe sizing will ensure that you get no more of a drop than one millibar. In the next set of lectures, we'll be piping up this very simple one appliance system from start to finish to give you a basic knowledge of pipe sizing.